guys, it's Manga Mix here. Hope you're doing well today. This is this week's Steam Greenlight uh, War Kickstarter, as it's sometimes maybe base video, but this is for Steam Greenlight, and we are looking at Paranautical Activity. The game is currently already out to, uh, well, it's in beta, and you can get the beta on the uh, game's official website and on Desura, I believe, and uh, something that I'm really hooked on. Now, I'm doing this post commentary because I find it really hard to play the game and talk at the same time because there's so much going on. So, to put it in simple terms, this is. I'm going to steal Cry's description from his live stream actually. This is uh, Quake and the Binding of Isaac combined, basically. So, it's randomly generated like a roguelike. So, you go into all these different rooms, you kill the enemies in the rooms. When you start, you get a random weapon, although you can swap to other weapons later on in the game. You get money, which you use to buy items in the shop. And you also beat bosses, and killing the bosses gives you items that give you stat boosts and things like that. Very much like in The Binding of Isaac. Everything, in terms of the bosses and stuff, seems to be random as well, and, uh... It's really addictive. That's all I can say. That's the first thing that I can say about this game is... Here is the shop here, as you can see. So I've up bought to that item there, and my, tri my uh, rate of fire has now been rapidly increased, which is really really important. It's like super important as far as I can tell so far. It's very hard as well and it takes, it's got a quite a steep learning curve I guess. I think my best level so far is up to level 4, uh, floor 4. Uh, when you beat the boss there is like a, uh, a lift that comes down, you get in the lift as you will see and uh, you continue the next floor. Anyway, the enemy variety to begin with is pretty simple. You get like the big demon guys that you just saw me shooting the hell out of but you also get these little guys which I'm sure you've already seen. We're going to go into this boss room here. And here is our boss, which appears to be a gigantic whale shooting out loads and loads and loads and loads of blue stuff. And he also spawns moths. The problem with the moths that he spawns is they use homing bullets, which uh, chase you around and until they hit the wall or you, they keep going, which is obviously a bit of a serious problem for your health. Come on, whale. With the rate of fire increase, at least, it's much easier to kill the bosses, I found. Um... Although some of them in general are fairly easy, there's obviously just some that are trickier than others. And it's a question of learning the strategy. Like any roguelike game, the more you play, the better you get. And you want to keep clicking that restart button when you die to uh, to give things another shot, really. It's just really addictive. Probably should have killed those moths as they came out instead of afterwards, but um, this is when I was learning the game, you know? I put about 15 hours in, in like two days. I like it that much, and... Uh, it's kind of why I wanted to highlight this. You die, Mars! Come on! I don't know why I'm playing out here. My aim is awful. Come on. What were you doing, previous me? Previous me? Past me? Whatever. Uh, in terms of your health, you have six hearts to begin with. I know you can get more, and you can have your health lowered, I think, by certain items. The enemies you kill sometimes drop health. They also sometimes drop armor, which like counts as another hit, which is kind of handy, uh, because you'll be getting hit a lot. And like an idiot there, I get in the lift without picking up the boss item. This was very early on in my uh, <laughs> in my paranautical activity career, so I don't want to apologise for being an idiot there and, um, and missing stuff. I'll show you some of the later things as well. These guys annoy me because they take a lot of hits. <laughs> I find them quite difficult to beat sometimes. These little guys remind me of Jawas from uh, Star Wars. Oh, they do look a bit like them, don't they? with the evil staring eyes and there's a killer moth in here as well so uh, from what I've seen so far an extra enemy seems to get added a floor I guess it might be more than that later on or I could have missed certain enemies just not had them spawn but there, there is good enemy variety especially once you get sort of like going and see more stuff as it were and obviously there are plenty of stuff I'm sure they'll be planning to add to the game as well um, okay we are not doing too well on the health front now two out of six one out of six this could be it this could be us dead could be us dead. Am I going to die here? Come on, am I going to die here? <sighs> this is not going well. You get, um, sort of like, I guess, in the Binding of Isaac sense, boss trap rooms as well, where it's not the exit to the floor, but you still fight a boss to get an item to. Um, and I died. I died horribly. But you want to click that restart button. It's very compelling. And as you can see now, I have a completely different weapon. I have, like, a, a Tommy gun type thing, I think. Which is pretty good fun, if I'm honest with you. I like the fast firing ones. I, I found I kill myself a lot with the rocket launcher. I suck with the grenade launcher. I think there's some weapons I haven't actually seen though, uh, which is uh, pretty cool. It's quite a good variety of stuff, and they all play differently. 
The most useful power-up I've found so far has been like a, a double jump one that lets you like leap around the room super fast. Makes life a lot easier. Come on, die! Oh god, this is like even watching myself play this like in the past tense is really intense. <laughs> okay. Can't get the money, damn it. Every end I do like the fact that the coins are quite highlighted as well. Like when they die, the enemies scatter themselves over a wide area. And it, it's fairly easy to notice all the coins and not miss any if you do want to pick up loot. Okay, although I sometimes forget to pick up the loot is the main problem I seem to suffer from. If you can right click as well, you can throw grenades, um, which I don't really use much. I haven't found a huge amount of good for them, but I could just be using them incorrectly. Um, I do fairly uh, suck at the game so far. What do we have in the shop this time? Powder keg, trigger finger. Oh, I'm going to get the uh, trigger finger again, because rate of fire up, like I say, is pretty awesome see what bosses I get this time. Hopefully it'll be something uh, a little different on this floor. Come on demons. Come on. It's probably not a game uh, for those who um, don't like to die, but if you like a good challenge and you like something that you know you really can have a... you know the, the learning curve is acceptable. Like You'll get better and um, it's really good fun to get better at it. So um, I strongly recommend uh, the game so far. One of the reasons I'm featuring the game as well is mainly because um, they actually originally uh, were going to be put on Steam. Uh, they were going to be published uh, by Adult Swim, I believe. But unfortunately, Valve turned around and said, well, you've already got a, a green light campaign going. Um, we're not going to let you publish the game the way most people publish their games on Steam. So, um, I kind of, I kind of got screwed over. And, um... I think there needs to be a big push to get this game on Greenlight because it's really, really good. And obviously while it's been out on Sura a while and things like that, Steam is where the money is at. And I feel that um, devs do deserve a piece of the pie. And this one seems to be getting a lot of good publicity at the moment. So hopefully it will help out a ton and they will get on Steam Greenlight ASAP. Come on. So this boss spawns spiders out of his mouth, which you have to... Go away! Go away, spiders! Go away! I hate you, Skullhead. I hate you so much. Boss designs are really cool. I like love them. I guess this is like maybe based on like a Jolly Roger because it's like you're on a boat fighting nautical themed ghosts. Hence the name Paranautical. It's a it's a lot much more than like a, a silly pun. You know, it really is um, got quite a surprising amount of like compelling. Addic Go away, spider! God, that spider nearly killed me. A su like surprisingly addictive depth to it, and I really like it. Come on, come on! I can kill him. I'm going to show you a few more bosses um, over the next few minutes so you guys can see how awesome they get. Obviously, there's, there's other bosses I haven't even seen, so I'm sure there's many I have, probably haven't seen at this point. But um, the ones I have seen have all been pretty badass so far. And um, as a result, I'm hooked. Properly hooked. Die, Skull, come on. Nearly there. Yeah. That's MLG, guys. It's MLG paranormal activity style. Let me get an item. Okay, so this is another boss. This is a giant octopus, which slams its ow, which slams its tentacles down. As you can see here, I have a ton more health in this video as well because I picked up some health boosting power ups and stuff in this little clip. Jump! See, my timing here is impeccable. Some of the bosses like this one I actually are pretty easy. Like it seems to be fairly easy to avoid this guy's tentacles. I've fought him a few times now, and uh, his pattern is fairly easy to remember. Whereas some of the other ones are much harder to avoid, as far as I can tell. Awesome. Awesome. And finally, like, uh, we'll look at a few more bosses. The Beholder guy is pretty fucking awesome as well. Um, but yeah, uh, in general, paranautical activity, in my opinion, is absolutely awesome. Um, I won't be doing all my green white videos like this, but like I said, I found it hard to talk over this one. And I wanted to give you guys the info so you just knew how good it was, really, and how um, it deserves your votes on green light. Um, I hope you enjoyed the footage. I hope you enjoyed my... Uh, description of the game as it were um and i guess i'll see you really soon minxlings uh bye for now see you really soon